Hello everybody, my name is KZ and welcome to a recent update to the Steam item restoration policy. Um, I have did a video about probably two years or one and a half year ago now about how to get your Steam refunds. Well, basically a lot of people have been abusing that system, so they did a massive update a little while ago. Saying that basically the Steam support does not restore any more items left by your account. So, in this video I want to talk about what you can do about saving your account and saving your inventory instead of getting scammed because, well basically if you get scammed now it's mainly your own fault because Steam did a lot of security updates and stuff like that. So, first of all I'm gonna look at this page here which just says the Steam item restor re restoration policy, but uh, English is hard today. And it's basically saying that Steam support does not restore any items left in the account for any reasons, including trade, markets, market transaction, deletions, or gifting. This is not regarding to Steam refund policy. That's a completely different thing. This is only regarding the things that are in your Steam inventory. So, um... The only they're saying like this is the responsibility. It's your responsibility to like secure your Steam account. Blah 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 blah. And basically, but all that they're saying is, hey, you need to do anything to secure your Steam account. So I wanted to talk about how to do this and the best way of doing this or how I did it. So I've got my um, second account open here, and I'll log into like this page. Um, so yes, uh, we're gonna quickly go over how to secure your account the way I've secured my main account, which is by using the Steam Mobile Authenticator. This this is the way that you can basically do most of your things um, on Steam now. And this requires two things. This requires a smartphone. I have my one here, that's why I looked away from the mic. Um, I own a Sony Z2 Zeria, whatever it's called. Um, but you can basically do this with any smartphone that just running Android or iOS. So what you want to do is go onto the Play Store and download the Steam app from there. Uh, if you're unsure about what one it is, it's made by Valve, it will say underneath there as well. And there will probably be a link in the description as well. Uh, what you want to do then is log in on the, uh, on the application on your phone with your Steam account. And we'll give you an email saying, hey, someone is trying to sign in. Uh, use this uh, number in order to sign in. And you basically do that. Uh, what you want to do then is go back to your computer and go here in the top left, clicking settings. Now, first of all, you open on this little screen here. This little screen is called just your basic settings and it's under accounts. Uh, as you can see here, you can see like your account name. Mine will probably be blurred out because for obvious reasons. You can see your VEX status, uh, means that I am not a hacker, hey. And you can see here my security status, which is protected by Steam Guard. Uh, what I'm currently clicking is, let's go manage to Steam card, uh, Guard about your security. So as you can see, this is my old account, which says uh, Steam Guard codes by email. So this one is not set up secure because, well, basically, I don't care about this uh, account a lot. Uh, in a minute here, I will show you my other account, uh, which is more set up. Um, if you want to manage your settings, you go back to Steam, click again on Settings and View Account Details. Here you can see basically your protection and stuff and you can basically learn all about your Steam Guard and your Steam Mobile Authenticator here, uh, which is just separate internet places over here. They will translate to any language you're at. Mine I think auto translates to Dutch as I'm from the Netherlands, um, which is weird because this top thing is in English but this isn't. So um, I'm linking both these pages in the description as well so you can all learn about this. So I'm gonna quickly change over accounts and then I will show you guys how it looks like when it's all set up as well. So I just signed in and it will come up with this little screen now that says my Steam Guard code, uh, which I received on my phone. It's sometimes this is by auto message, it's really weird. Um, it's normally like a five to six number message. And then it will allow you to get access to your Steam account. So, as you can see here, if I go to my Steam settings, you can see protected by the Steam Guard Mobile Authenticator. 
Uh, you can see I'm not in anything. I'm not a hacker here. Let's go to this. So basically, you can see um, it's now charged by my or it's now secured by the mobile authenticator, and it'll basically show like the ending of my phone number, which I can also click here to manage if I I have a new phone number or basically the way it does it if you want to verify your phone it will send you like a little text message and you just have to like put it in somewhere and it's all easy to set up and it really secures your account now basically what the steam mobile authenticator does is it will uh, give you more control over your steam and it will just do all the verification and shit like that so I wanted to talk a, little, talk a little bit about the mobile authenticator as well. So first of all, sorry about the poor video quality here. I recorded it with a 720p webcam and it's like I put the room dark, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so this is my phone. It's a Sony Xerion Z2, like I told earlier. Um, basically, you can see that I'm opening Steam now. Um, it's basically the same interface as you would have a normal Steam, just showing all your friends. And again, sorry for the poor quality, it's really hard to do these things when I've never done them before. Uh, but I still wanted to show you guys how it works, so... If you see, I click there in the top left, you can see your Steam Guard options, uh, and your other options now. Uh, basically the Steam Guard shows you when, like, the login details, and of course I blur this a little bit out because I don't want people to see what it all says. It also has a little bit of settings things. You can see a time bar underneath. It changes, I think, every, like, half a minute to a minute. So you do have that little bit of time restraint in what you have to put it in. Um, so that people probably won't steal it less often. As well as that you have the confirmations page, which is a new thing that is only there for... Um, you using to confirm trades and it's also it's a really good thing for doing like big trades like you're trading knives on CSGO or like rare T for those two items but it's shit in a way that you have to confirm every trade you want to put on the market so you want to shell your fucking stupid dual barrettas for like 3p you have to mobile authenticate the entire thing and it just takes away like a lot of time but it's just to keep you safe there and well yeah uh, you can also see it has different settings. You can just go straight up to the support. You can just do the normal settings of the thing. It's a really handy app for getting used to the entire thing. And it really helps bringing the safety back to Steam. So I think that's a really good update. Um, anyway, I'm leaving you on this blank page of my phone here. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I'll try to answer as much of them as possible. And yeah, that's that, that's all I wanted to say. I've got nothing else to say.